What's up guys, Jason Julius here, and if we wanna give our woman full body orgasms during sex, well then we better pay attention to what's happening before sex begins. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about five powerful tips for foreplay. All right, foreplay tip number five is actually my favorite, and I think it might surprise you that it's a part of foreplay, but let's start with foreplay tip number one, and tip number one is take your time. Now that might seem kind of obvious, but when you think about it, us guys are just turned on instantly like a light switch. We see her naked and we're ready to go. But for her, it's more like the slow, gradual turn of a volume knob. And so as you get her mind engaged, as you create the fantasy in her mind and give her a little bit of time to get into it, then that volume knob slowly gets turned up and she can really get into an orgasmic state. So what you wanna do is just take your time with everything you do. Don't rush, don't go rushing right into her sensitive spots. Take your time and work your way all the way down her body. You know, you know suck on her earlobes, make your way down her neck, kiss all around her upper chest and her breasts. The, uh, lower back is an amazing spot to kiss and lick. You can lick all the way down her spine and then because you're licking, it becomes a little bit moist and then you blow on her back and that's gonna send chills down her spine. None of this is like overtly sexual. It's just warming her up and giving her amazing sensations so that she can start to really get turned on and get horny and get wet and get excited about the sex that potentially is coming up. And, and as you make your way down, you know, don't go right in and rush in just to perform oral sex. Uh, kiss and lick the insides of her thighs, uh, above her pubic bone. Make your way down, tease her as you're, as you're going down there and, and let her guess what you're going to be doing next. And this leads me into tip number two, which is don't be predictable change it up. Oftentimes we get lazy and we start to do the same thing every time and she's gonna be like, yep, he's gonna do this, then he's gonna do this. And that's not gonna really engage her mind. You wanna keep her guessing as to what you're going to do. So, you know, when she takes off her shirt, don't go right in and start going for the nipple. Take your time and go, go around. But sometimes maybe you do go right in for the nipple. Sometimes you pick her up and throw her on the bed. Other times you slowly, uh, you know, sensually, you, you know, take your time with her. Just don't be predictable and don't do the same thing every time, particularly when you're going down and you begin to perform oral sex on her. You know, don't do the same thing every time. Otherwise, she's gonna be like, yep, he licks me here, he does this. Change it up so that you can keep her guessing and that's gonna pull her mind into the fantasy and keep her wondering what you're gonna do next. All right, tip number three is be decisive and take charge. Be the man, the leader in this, in this situation and uh, throw her over your shoulder and throw her on the bed and just take the lead and use your actions to show that you unapologetically want her and you desire her and you know, you're not asking for permission. Yes, there's a level of communication and understanding what she likes and what's comfortable for her, but you're, you know, she's on her back, you flip her over under her stomach and start massaging her and kissing down her back, leading her through this uh, situation where her mind is just kind of like, oh my God, you know, what, what's, gonna, what's gonna happen? It's part of not being predictable, but really showing through your actions that you're a leader and you're, you're gonna take charge and guide her through this situation will really pull her into the moment and really help her become very turned on and get to an orgasmic state. And speaking of an orgasmic state, tip number four is to engage her mind. Remember, a woman needs a little bit of time to get to an orgasmic state where she's very present. She's in the moment. She wants to give herself to you. So you can use a lot of tools in the toolkit, such as things like dirty talk and really engage, engaging her with language that turns her on and leads the situation. Uh, all the way to, remember, foreplay doesn't have to start when you get in the bedroom. It can start earlier in the day. So sending her some sexy, sexy text messages about how you just can't stop thinking about her and you know how, how amazing she looked that morning or uh, it felt so good to be inside of her last night. You can't get her out of your mind. Just starting to engage her mind and start to create a fantasy in her mind way before she even gets home. She'll 
come home and just want to rip your clothes off because she'll already be so engaged mentally that she's getting closer and closer to orgasmic state. So, you know, it's the work you even do ahead of time. But once she's even there, help her become present, help engage her mind and allow her to let go and tell her to trust to, that she can give herself to you fully. And uh, that will allow her to really get outside of her head, which is required for her to be able to orgasm. Now that brings me to tip number five, which is to give her an orgasm. Now that might sound kind of weird, give her an orgasm during foreplay. Well, yes, actually, if you give her an orgasm and take the time to stimulate her, say via oral sex as you're working your way down her body and then blend that into some G-spot stimulation. And just as she's about to come, then you go for her A-spot and just really give her a really powerful full body type of an orgasm. To do that before sex even begins is gonna, one, be amazing for her and be like, wow, what did this guy do to me? But then also it puts her in that orgasmic state and it's gonna be way more likely for her to orgasm during sex and uh, she'll be able to have multiple orgasms because it's always a little bit more difficult for her to have the first one. But once she does, then she can continue to let go and have more. So I, I like to think of giving her an orgasm as part of foreplay and then that just continues and blends right into sex and leads to more orgasms. So hopefully that helps you. That's uh, five awesome ways to think about foreplay. If you don't know how to give your woman a uh, G-Spot Orgasm, I do have an awesome video on how to do that over on my blog at jasonjulius.com forward slash squirt. Uh, so go check that out and thank you guys for continuing to send success stories based on that video. It's really awesome to hear. And uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I have a lot of cool stuff coming up and leave me a comment if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video.